Welcome to another installment of Behind the Scenes at the Flower Fields. I'm Paul Ecke, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about poinsettias. Uh, and you might wonder, why are we talking about poinsettias? Well, at the flower fields, these fields were originally planted by our grandfather in poinsettias. And those poinsettias were grown outdoors and harvested for cut flowers and also for stock plants, but mostly for cut flowers. Um, and when we stopped growing poinsettias outdoors, we, have, we then started renting the property out to flower growers, uh, tomato growers, strawberry growers. Uh, but the flowers that you see today uh, have been growing here for probably 20 or 30 years. And those flowers are ranunculus flowers. We'll more about that later. Here we're, we're in the poinsettia greenhouse, which once you come into the flower fields, all the way to the right is the poinsettia greenhouse. And this has a lot of poinsettia history in it. It's got a lot of different varieties, all the way from our original St. Louis variety, um, which we were growing out in the fields uh, for 40 years. Then we started breeding poinsettias, and that, that breeding program uh, allowed us to build in uh, new traits, like we could now sell them as potted plants. We could now uh, call them long-lasting. The old poinsettias only lasted a few days in a vase. New poinsettias will last weeks. And then we started breeding for things like darker foliage. And darker foliage was very um, consumer uh, attractive. The consumers really liked that dark leaf foliage, so that's what we started to breed to. Uh, then we created something called the Freedom Family. Freedom Family had every color, red, white, pink, jingle bells, marble. That gave the grower freedom to grow uh, poinsettias, the same variety in any color. Later on, we developed a variety called Prestige, and Prestige was known because it had a very upright architecture, and that allowed, uh, um, it, it gave much more durability through the transportation channel, gave a better result for the consumer. Some other fun stuff, um, we, we developed a variety called Winter Rose. Winter Rose doesn't even look like a poinsettia. That's why we called it Winter Rose. Uh, it has a curly uh, presentation. So uh, people often ask me, are poinsettias poisonous? And I always say, no, they're not poisonous. Um, not everybody believes me, but I have eaten a poinsettia or two on camera. Uh, I don't think we're gonna do that today because I don't um, have any ranch dressing. But if I did, I might even do that. Um, so that is a little bit of the fun facts on poinsettias. And please come and visit us at the flower fields and, and go to the right and come to the Ecke family greenhouse. Thanks a lot. <music>